Picture perfect days are like gold for the construction company putting together the South End Zone project at Jack Trey Stadium. So we picked a day that was gold to visit with Ben Bungie. He's the project manager for Whites. Let's hear what he has to say about the progress. We really started the construction in uh, August. Uh, started the building portion and then fans would remember that we had the ramps working up both sides. In November 1, we were able to take over the hillsides to start the, um, the upper bowl construction, the foundations for that. And then in December, we'll look later on, um, you can see what happened with the lower bowl. But uh, from this vantage point here, we've got uh, a loading dock coming in. So you can see one concrete wall. Um, We'll have another loading dock, which will be a service entrance for the kitchen. And then the upper bowl is coming across. And then over top of the loading dock, there'll be a ramp similar to the old hillside or the old ramps up the okay. walkway. We'll have that same uh, style of access for all the fans. So you can see, uh, see here that we've got masonry on the west face of the club. We've got uh, the gray air barrier. So that's our envelope getting uh, tied in. And then you can see the gray structures that are happening along the uh, south face of the club. Those gray structures will get infilled with glass in the next couple weeks and will create an uh, uh, envelope that's watertight. And then at that point, our club construction will really take off with the drywall and the finish side of it. Up high, you'll also notice that we've got metal panels working their way across. So it really starts to give the scoreboard some structure and uh, substance. We've broken the schedule down into multiple phases. We've got a club that has got its own critical path. We've got the east hillside, the west hillside, and the lower bowl, and they're all treated independently, but they all intertwine. And so they, if one thing were to slide, you could see how it ties to the next. So we're inside the club. Uh, this would be the lower level of the club. It's uh, really coming along nicely. We've got uh, stud framing and uh, rough-ins going along. Uh, the club is uh, Really getting tied in with the mechanical systems. You can see uh, the mechanical mezzanine over on the west side. And then uh, if we were to make our way into the kitchen, you can see how the kitchen's coming along. So it's, it's tracking along nicely. So right, right now you're looking at kind of the main stair. This will be a monument stair. It'll have uh, steel mm -hmm. with uh, terrazzo on it and uh, glass handrail and really look nice. It'll be a feature of the club. And you'll see uh, a lot of uh, exposed ductwork mm -hmm. and uh, so forth. So it'll be some raw, tough football player type of uh, finishes. This is one of the design elements that uh, was part of the programming was making sure that the concourse would connect from east to west. I know fans have always enjoyed traveling, meeting, uh, meeting friends on the other side of the stadium. And so they wanted to make sure this concourse was a wraparound connection point. And, uh, they'll have that access. Once you get inside the curtain wall, then it'll be the club section only. Okay. But out here, you'll, anybody will be able to travel. So through this glass wall that is just gray framing right now, there'll be uh, another glass wall, which will uh, look out over the field. And between the two, when you're inside this club, you'll be able to see out over the gardens and out over the tailgating and then look out over the field. And so depending on what your appetite is and what you want to be viewing or You'll get to see either or. But everything's glass. Everything's glass. It's, it's awesome. Just perfect view from either side. Wow. <laughs> Some wow factor here. Isn't it, isn't it amazing? I mean, the view. I'm not sure I need to say anything. It just it speaks for itself. So. so at what point will you actually put in the club seats down there? <clears throat> uh, great question, John. We've got... Uh, we got the steel or all the concrete set um, to you can see the pier that's in the ground right now. So we've got all the concrete foundations in that we need to, and next week we'll walk a crane down um, down here in the corner, and we'll start to set steel across. And then at that point, steel is going to follow its way across, and then bleachers will follow behind it. They've got uh, amenities. You've got both the indoor and outdoor amenities. So uh, early early games, you can get the fan experience outside. Uh, the crowd noise, you come in here, you'll have sound, you'll have warm temperatures and uh, really get the best of both worlds. So we're kind of walking up the hillside right now as, you're, as you would uh, once the stadium's complete. We'll have this wall, which was precast on the other side, will get set out 
up, and then no different than you used to walk up the hillside before, you'll just kind of come up onto the concourse. So it's very similar design. One of the things uh, that we strived early on was having an architectural uh, resemblance of what we already had here, yep. and to make sure we keep that integrity throughout the stadium and really throughout campus. They've done a nice job um, over the years of, of tying everything together. So that was a, a focal point to make sure we had the precast structure, the steel I-beams with uh, kind of the intermediate supports as you would see on the old stadium. There's, uh, there's over 500 footings that are 18 inches around. They go 100 foot in the ground. So there is a ton of support to hold this, uh, this whole structure up. Each, uh, each footing, each pier has got almost one ton of reinforcing in it. So the lower bowl will have, uh, the seats will tie into that wall that uh, you can see the fence on right now, and that'll work continuously all the way around and then tie right back into this lower bowl. So depending on where you access it, there'll be, uh, there'll be bench seating until you get to the club, and then when you get to the club section, there'll be a, a fence that kind of run down the, the center of the aisle. Mm -hmm. And that uh, inside the club area will all be seat backs. Mm -hmm. And so another amenity to the club would be, uh, you say you have a seat back and a cup holder and some, yeah. some additional features there. It's a neat view when uh, you see the renderings even online just of this area. You can start to visualize what's happening as you get out here. And I can just imagine the excitement with the fans coming here for the spring football game. and. Um, seeing where everything's at. You know, it's it's going to be awesome because when we're all said and done, we'll have 61,000 fans here. It'll be the third largest stadium in the Big 12. And uh, we've got the precast upper bowl driving sound to the field. And then in the lower bowl, it's aluminum bleachers. Okay. And you've, uh, you're aware of Seattle and their 12th man. We've got that same, uh, you know, bleachers with aluminum and creating more sound and should, should give a home field advantage. So the target date for completion is August 11th for the club and August 24th, the concourse and all the exterior site work needs to be complete. That provides uh, time for the owner to move into the kitchen in the club and then uh, do any final prep work for the stadium because September 5th is uh, fast approaching. One of the toughest things that we had you know, put in front of us was how do you get the stadium built in, uh, in 13 months? So I've been uh, part, personally been part of quite a few large construction projects and this is as fast as any of my projects have ever moved and uh, something to be said to have everybody on the same page, build that team early on. Yep. Um, you know, fb and Iowa State's been, athletics have been wonderful to work with. You got a design team who's uh, Newman Munson, HNTB, Modus. I mean, they've all, uh, they've all really joined together, understood the schedule, and then uh, every prime contractor uh, bought into it and they're going towards it. Ben, thanks for showing us around. Oh, Can we come back done. and take a look when the club section gets done? I would love to. You know, we'll give you a preview before then even. That sounds great. Look forward to it.